everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Krista here. Welcome to The Radical Angel. Um, thanks to everybody who's been watching my tarot videos for the last couple of years. Thanks for your patience. I'm finally putting these videos up for you. Um, and to everyone who's new, welcome. I hope that you enjoy this series. So this is all about your sun sign in, today we're doing Capricorn. Um, so this is a little bit different than your moon or even rising sign readings, which I will be doing a series for in the near future. But today we're just doing your sun signs. And sun sign is really about how you go about the world. It's your behavior in the world, how you act. Um, so I have some minor themes here I want to address. I've just written notes so I stay organized. And then I am using the only astrology book you'll ever need for some additional language with regard to your sign. Um, as I say in all my videos, I didn't go to school for this, but I've been looking at astrology now for over 30 years, and it's just a deep interest of mine, and it's something that I just want to express for everybody getting to know astrology or uh, introducing themselves to astrology. I feel like these will be really helpful to give you an insight and some basic themes for sun signs. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. So your sign, of course, is the 10th out of the zodiac. You're ruled by the 10th house. This is all about status, public appearances. This is government. This is a very serious sign. Um, your planet is, of course, Saturn. It's the father. Um, it's the taskmaster. And you are one of the few signs in all of the zodiac to have your own planet. Um, Sagittarius has its own planet, Cancer does as well, but uh, most of them share one, and you have your own. Um, Saturn used to be shared with, and there is still some argument to state that Saturn is still shared by uh, Aquarius. I do find a lot of similarities, so I will probably still say um, in my Aquarius video, for example, which is next, um, that they do have two planets. They have both Uranus and they have Saturn, but you uniquely have Saturn to yourself. That's the taskmaster. It's very authoritative. It's the father. And the body part is, of course, the bones, joints, and knees. So essentially the skeletal structure, it's the skeletal, it's the bones, it's structure. And that's a very important term for Capricorns. They need structure. In fact, they introduce it. They work well within it and they provide it. They provide a great deal of structure and authority, another major term for Capricorn. Uh, your element is earth. You're an earth sign. You're gonna get along very easily and find it easy to communicate with uh, other earth signs such as Taurus and Virgo. Your symbol, if we already didn't talk about that, is the goat, um, the greatest of all time. No accident, right? Uh, yeah, you're always climbing, you're always striving, you're always going to get to the top, but you're born for it. This is the thing. What would tear other people down or drive other people crazy about personal ambition, for example, I don't think there's any other sign that is as ambitious as yours. Asterix, Scorpio, but for different reasons. Scorpio is obsessed, right? Um... Capricorn is determined. They're just determined. They don't even, they're not even thinking of the emotional consequences to their behavior like Scorpio has to do. And, and they already did do that emotional work and then they went and now they're obsessed and nothing can change their mind. They're a fixed sign. You're cardinal. You are determined. You're, I have a path. Here I go. I'm going to build it and then you just don't worry about the emotional component of anything. Um, speaking of emotions, your opposite sign is Cancer. And with all of our opposite uh, signs, it's really where we're gonna learn the most. So I'm a Cancer Sun, for example. I have a lot to learn from Capricorn Sun. Um, determination, organization, um, being the greatest of all time, not having any fear around that, not feeling like it's bragging or something, you know, that's something that I could use to my own advantage where I don't naturally have that. Capricorn is just like, I'm built for this. What do you want? I'm going to be, I'm already a success. Get out of my way. So Capricorn, keep going. A pretty, pretty strong energy. I love it. Um, strengths and weaknesses. I'm doing this for all of the signs. One of the major strengths, as I kind of just pointed out for Capricorn is 
but didn't say it this way. It's kind of winning at all costs. I think with Scorpio, they will win at all costs, but they've factored the emotional component. They have factored an emotional either sense or outcome or sacrifice, and they just they made it part of the plan, and that's part of the plan. Capricorn, it can come and hit you in the butt when all is said and done. You can rise to the top of whatever you want, but there's still going to be an emotional, perhaps void, or the well of your emotional world will be, um, could run dry, or it could just be shallow. So while your strength could very well be in determination and get out of my way, you know, winning at all costs, just be aware that you're not doing that as a weakness. Make sure that you are tempering that with the emotional output or concerns or fallout on your own determination and um, you know your productivity. Just make sure that the people around you get to benefit from that as well and it's not just for yourself. So the modality or quality of your sign is cardinal, as I mentioned. Uh, there's four cardinal signs. This is really about you making a new path. You're going to start something new here. You're really not going to worry about the detractors or the haters. This is a beautiful thing about the cardinal signs, frankly, is they will figure out what they need to do to move forward. And then they may get road bumps or speed bumps in the meantime. But you know what? It's not going to trip them up because they know that they've intuitively gone in the right direction for them. And this is a major theme around cardinal signs, frankly. All cardinal signs have an, an enormous in, intuition that it behooves us all to pay attention to and to honor. Capricorns are very underrated in my view as incredibly creative and artistic leaders and uh, have a lot to show us especially when it comes to uh, when it in the art world or in the creative world when it comes to maybe poking fun of or even trying to collapse uh, governments and status and institutions. So in a creative way, you're so acutely aware of these institutions and these systems of control, for example, that as a musician or artist or a uh, you know, creative person within any discipline, you're able to tear this apart, even as a writer or as a poet, um, as a script writer, etc. You know, spoken word artist, for heaven's sakes, you know, you're able to tear some of this down because you intuitively understand those systems so well. And then, of course, your attractions and your opposite. Your opposite sign is Cancer. We have a lot to learn from each other. Cancer is a water sign. We're typically pretty emotional emotional, um, intuitive. Uh, Cancer is also the mother, Capricorn's the father, so essentially opposites. Um, and then attractions, as I mentioned, at nearly the beginning there, you're gonna be naturally attracted to both Taurus and Virgo because you're all earth signs. You're gonna find it very easy to communicate with those people. So just some minor themes here left in the book that I have to use for you. It says here that your most likable trait is steadiness. Yeah, I believe that. You're very steady. You have your eye on the prize. I mean, listen, just consider the goat. Like, you're not gonna get, oh, what's that butterfly over there? No, you're gonna fall and die. You are paying attention, very much focused. So that is a very nice quality about you. Um, you are a feminine sign. Um, so while there's a lot of masculine energy behind this, you know, very authoritative sign, you're still considered a feminine duality. Um, the dominant keyword is I use. So again, just be careful that you're not using people or um, you're not interested solely in the end product or end result, okay? Um, you want to account for all of the experience on the journey. And of course, your lucky day is Saturday and your lucky numbers are two and eight. So I really hope you enjoyed this little nice introduction into your sun sign. Like I said, I'll be doing moon and rising sign videos uh, as a series in the near future. Until we meet in the next video, take excellent care, Capricorn.